All right, everybody, Lloyd Hannison here from the Nerd Nest with another first look. Um, actually, with another Shantae first look. This, uh, this time we're taking a look at Shantae, Half Genie Hero, Ultimate Edition on Google Stadia. Um, this game came out a little while ago. Um, it was Kickstarted, actually. Uh, and if you go to the options, you can actually see all of the the backer credits and all that stuff, which is uh, which is kind of funny because uh, I have uh, I have the uh, Nintendo Switch version behind me that uh, I picked up after the Kickstarter because I have uh, a bunch of digital versions of the game, but I wanted a physical version as well. I wonder if my name's in here. Let's see. Let's go. D E F G H I J K. Let's go. A lot of J's. Wow. Uh, L L. No, 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 no. I, I missed it. If there was a Lloyd, I missed it. I can't remember if you had to uh, pledge at a specific, uh, a specific platform or a sp specific level rather, um, to to appear there. We're gonna do that again uh, while we're waiting. A B C D E F G. I know my alphabet, um, but a lot of J's, no K's, very very few K's, and then L. Let's see, Lloyd L L L L L L. I don't see it. I, oh. Oh, I don't see it. Maybe it was there. Maybe it was there. <laughs> I can't believe I did that twice. Uh, anyway, let's jump into the game. Uh, this was people are like, what am I watching this for? Anyway, let's uh, let's jump into the game. So, half genie, uh, Shante, half genie hero rather, is a um, it, it's a new take on the Shante games. Um, so you can see it's a three D, three uh, D world with. Uh, a very nice uh, 2D sprite kind of looking thing, but hand drawn, so it's not like pixelated or anything. Um, so when you buy the game, there is a bunch of modes, and these were all um, added because of Kickstarter and stuff like that. So they got to a certain level and they added a uh, different thing Jammies mode, Officer mode, Beach mode, <laughs> Ninja mode, uh, a bunch of stuff. So you could beat the game. And then have to beat the game multiple times with diff the different versions of it. So that's pretty cool. So you're getting you're getting a lot of uh, various uh, things to play in this game. So let's uh, let's jump in. We're gonna choose our color. Uh, I want to be blue, Shante, because why not? And we're gonna jump right into this game. So if there's a voiceover or video, I'm gonna shut my camera off while this runs, so you can see the awesome, awesome animation. Huh? Is someone there? Hello? There we go. So you can kind of see how it looks like hand-drawn art, but it's like this really cool animated 3D objects. Looks really cool. Looks really, really cool. All right, let's uh, exit the house and continue on. The uh, already already loving the art when playing the uh, the other Shantae game which was based on a DSi um, Nintendo DS game uh, this one looks definitely new you can even see like when you go into the shadows you lose the lighting on your character model nice touches very nice touches way forward does good work with uh, platformers uh oh Uncle, Uncle you fell asleep in your workshop again huh never seen that trap door before. I wonder where it leads. That's going to end poorly. That never goes well. Keep going down, down, down into the creepy cr trap door in the creepy old man's house. What's the worst that could happen, really? Oh. The little flying thing hit the fire. I don't have any attack yet. So that's a good thing it did. That's cool. Good way to take uh, take advantage of your environment and kill all the baddies at the same time. Didn't even have to get my hands dirty. This is fantastic. Um, 
Because I don't even know it's down here. Uh, again, my name is Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest, nerdnest.tv. You can follow me on Twitter at Dasme, D-A-S-M-E. Didn't do that at the start of the video, so I'm doing it right now. Welcome, daughter of the genies. Whoa, who said that? Whoever you are, you better come out right now. Don't be afraid. Who are you? A messenger from the genie realm. I summon you here to warn you of a great danger. Very soon, an agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world. It seeks to corrupt our magic and use it for its own selfish gain, with our power at its disposal. Agent of darkness will reign supreme over both worlds, and no one will escape its wrath. Oh no, this sounds serious. How do we stop it? As a daughter of genies, only you have the power to do this. Me? But how? I'll help you where I can. Listen for my voice and follow your heart as you always have. Only then can both our worlds be saved. Wait, don't go. What about my mother? Is she here with you? I can barely hear you. Is she in danger too? Please tell me. Please, I have to know. Don't leave me. All right. So that's the uh, the little story intro for this game. Let's see. Ooh, that white screen really made my camera blow out. <laughs> Would you like to save the game? Yes, let's save. All right, here we are again. Boy, oh boy. That was some crazy dream I had. No more comic books in bed from now on. And that whole tub of cookie dough ice cream probably didn't help much either. Oh well, now that I'm up, it's time to go meet Uncle. He pro he's probably at his workshop, knee deep in gizmos and gigas. Oh, wow, cool. The, uh, the village now rotates. Talk to that dude to save the game. This is the item shop if you enjoy customizing your abilities. Hey girl, press Y to shake those hips. Look, I can transform. I can transform already. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's jump into the workshop. Let's talk to the old man. Good morning, uncle. Hmm. Say, I had the weirdest dream last night. And you can tell me about it. But first, give your old uncle Mimic a hand, will you? Sure, is it something to do with your new invention? You'll see. I've got a mechanical part on back order. Should have arrived today. I sent your pal Bolo over to the item shop to pick it up. But he hasn't come back yet. That was over an hour ago. Always his head in the clouds, that boy. Do you mind picking up the part for me? Sure thing, uncle. All right, so let's go do that. So yeah, the, uh, the the village, it's now a little circle that uh, will uh, rotate around, which is which is pretty cool. Um, and then you can go into any of the buildings and stuff without any problems. Hey, what are you doing here? Bola. What are you doing in the bathhouse? Uncle's waiting for you to deliver his package. You're in the wrong shop, you numbskull. This woman, she's like a bathroom angel. <laughs> oh, good gravy, not this again. Snap out of it. Can't look away. Never mind, I'll talk to her. Good morning and welcome to the bathhouse, a place where you can rejuvenate your body and spirit with the tranquil sounds and sense of hardcore white knuckle, full throttle, max relaxation. Re relaxation. Normally, I'd offer you advice about your quest, but right now I'm trying to figure out where this receipt came from. Whoever delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. Anyway, if you're heading to the, the shop next door, please take this receipt with you. All right, got the sales slip. And remember, if you ever lose your way, come see me for a free hint. Free hints are the best kind of hints, actually. Old man who saves progress, he's always standing over by the town gate. All right, let's go into the item shop. So yeah, just look at the awesome animation. So it's cell shaded, but it looks like hand-drawn art, the way that they're doing the, uh, the, the art in this game. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, welcome to the item shop. We'll be open for business in just a few minutes. Oh, you're picking up for your uncle then. Just show me the receipt and I'll fetch it for you. Okie dokie, let's see here. Yep, here's the order. It was stuck to the box of hard drives. Ooh, that magnets are not good for hard drives. All right, we've got a magnet. <laughs> let's keep walking in this direction. We could talk to all these people, but I'm um, not going to. That's a weird little... Uh, pause in the in the game yeah it's doing that whenever it's loading in a sign that's odd weird 
Maybe it's pausing for a reason. Or maybe not. Let's jump in the hatchery for a second. Oh. Hey, Sky. Ah, that cool ocean breeze feels amazing. Uh, but I think we're in for another hot one. Good morning, Sky. Have you seen Bolo? Try the bathhouse. Last I saw him, he was heading in that direction. Okay, nothing, nothing to talk to Sky about. All right, so let's go back. Go to the workshop. Talk to our uncle. You have something for me? You gave the magnets. Oh, ho, it's here. My magnet has finally arrived. That means it's time to show off my latest invention. What is it? Oh my, what is it, uncle? Something to help you defend the town. I call it the Dynamo. Dino Meow? <laughs> dynamo, it's a contraption from the old world that I'm attempting to piece back together. That magnet you brought me goes right... Here, like that, you see? Once it's completed, the machine will generate enough electricity to light up Scuttle Town day and night. It'll chase away every monster and pirate within a 10 mile radius. Scuttle Town will be safe and sound as you get to relax for a change. It's amazing, Uncle. When will we be ready? Well, there's still a few components that are missing, but I'm getting close. Next, I need to add a... Let's see here. Where are my Dynamo blueprints? I had them last night, but now they're gone. Did you try looking in the basement? Basement? Our workshop doesn't have one. But there's a trapdoor right... Oh. There goes a bad guy. A tinker bat. That filthy pirate just ran off with my blueprints. Don't worry, Uncle. I'll... What was that? Cannon fire? Less came from Main Street. I've got to go. Scuttle Town is under attack. We need a ride. Head to Sky's Hatchery. Quickly. It's almost... Whoa, look at all the fire. Uh, it's almost as if uh, all the games start the same. It's weird, that. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps pausing. That's really weird. I mean, I've never noticed that before uh, in this game. In particular, not on this platform, obviously. Sky, I heard it. Main Street is under attack. I'll give you a ride, but, but I'd give you a ride, but none of my birds is big enough. That is, unless, unless what? Wrench, I need you. Ready to show Shantae our newest trick? Big of wrench metamorphosis. Oh my gosh, how did he? Here, you got whistle. A bird whistle. I'll explain later. Just get on already. Relax. Wrench can stay this size for several seconds. Seconds? Just choose the location and we'll drop you off. It's only two choices. Main Street and Town Square. So let's go to Main Street. Would you like to save? Yes. All right. We're 13 minutes in. We're, uh, we're cooking with gas here right now. your stop. Now about that bird whistle. I've added it to your subscreen. All the items you collect can be found there. If you ever need a lift, go to your subscreen and blow that whistle. Got that? You bet. Now watch as I give those pirates a taste of my silky split ends of justice. Just go. I won't let you down either. No, I mean, I'm literally not letting you down. Get. Oof. Ouch, what's her deal? All right, intro done. Let's get to into some gameplay. Ready. Ow. That's not nice. Okay, I gotta break it. It's gonna keep going. Music sounds pretty nice. Mm. 
Money, money, money. Alright, let's push this over. Oh. Oh. It's throwing firebombs. Ouch. Really? That was bad luck. Oh, I missed again. Oh, is fire things move? Alright, well, I'm just going to skip that because apparently I can't reach him. Or if I can, I'm too too bored to, uh, with that to uh, keep going. So <laughs> let's just go this way. Alright, pick up some more gems. Loot is always a good thing. Try number two. Nope. Hit the button too late. Throw it. There we go. Oh, and of course he drops a good gem that I can't get to. I feel like I'm playing uh, Dance Dance Revolution right now with this... Uh, with this music. <laughs> yeah, these uh, boss or bosses, enemies aren't uh, the smartest of uh, of enemies that you will fight. I like that uh, they give lots of hearts, so you don't have to worry about getting, taking some damage there. Alright, let's keep going. This level's got to be close. There we go. I was right. I was right. Sure. I like how it's offering you to save between every screen. There must be a boss battle here or something. That flame just doesn't stop. Oh. It's like I'm playing Mega Man. There's chef, chefy type person up there. Who's that? No, can't uh, can't wall jump or anything. Oh no! No! <laughs> I fall, fell all the way. Of course I did. Um, in my house, we call that a Metroid fall uh, because of playing the original Metroid. Uh, or actually any of the Metroids, it was pretty common to uh, to fall, and then every correction that you did was wrong. So you'd, you'd hit left because you think there was a platform, and the platform is right, so then you hit right, but then the next platform is to the left, and yeah, we call it a Metroid fall, for that reason. Oh, okay, those little stone blick blicks? bricks uh, you can uh, defeat with your hair attack. Uh, be nice if my hair did a little bit more damage. If I'm really getting to a boss battle right now. Oh, I didn't even see that person. I was not paying attention. As per usual. All right. Oh, that both go at one time. Okay, got to be fast. Okay, you got to be faster. You got to pre-jump. That's what it is. Oh. Okay. 
I don't know why I went here just to get coins. No, I wanted to jump. Alright, let's continue. Continue over here. Enemies keep spawning. I mean, it's a good, good way to farm up gold, I guess, but... Uh, ouch. hit because I'm just I'm trying to rush this a little too much all right here we go you want to save yes I do I would very much like to save thank you very much all the pirates are Tinker Bats, which means the person behind this attack must be... Risky Boots! Ho ho ho! Risky boots. <coughs> there you go. So. There you go. Tut tut, call me Queen of the Seven Seas, if you please. Back to your old tricks, I see. You don't sound happy to see me. No matter. I have what I came Looking for. for this? Looking for this? Blueprints! Yes, I am. Your dim-witted relic-hunting uncle is always unearthing valuables from the Lost Age, and whatever secrets this blueprint contains, I want them. How else can I claim my rightful place as ruler of all of Sequinland? <laughs> ho ho ho. Now step aside, or suffer the might of my part omni-organic, partially titanic, ocean-optional tinker slug. Poop toot? <laughs> Don't call it that. Men. Let's give that brat a proper workout. All right, here we go. Tinker Slug. Don't call it Poop Toot. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta kill that poop toot. Oh. I'm almost dead though. No! 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 Oh, that would have killed me. Okay, hopefully this is the last one. And I'm dead. I wasn't being smart about that. <clears throat> okay, let's try that one more time. Game over. Continue. If it only asked me to save right before the boss battle. Oh, wait, it did. That's a nice, uh, nice addition. Can I just skip this? Yes, I can. Good. Tinker Slug. Don't call it Poop Toot. Destroy Poop Toot. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Uh, and apparently I'm 12. Ooh, 11. Ouch. Gotta kill that poop toot. It was only nine that time. Oh, I meant to jump. Or I wanted to jump. Ten. Oh. I'm always in the wrong place. Let's hope this is the last one. I did it. So you had to hit him like 40 times. To kill the poop toot.
There we go. Surrender the blueprints, risky boots. So you've managed to get the upper hand, but you're only, but you're only postponing my, my inevitable victory. Can't, can't, can't read again. Uh, you got dynamo blueprints. Another time, runt. Move it, you Move it, you lubbers. Just as she said. Ho, ho, ho. Just like she said. All right, perfect. And don't come back. Scared her away. I actually beat her right away for a change. I'd better get these blueprints back to Uncle. Ooh, what's this? I think it's a teleporter. Guardian Genie. Oh, excuse me. All right, there we go. First boss completed. As we make our way back to town, we're going to save. And uh, yeah, there we go. This is our first look of uh, Shantae's Half Genie Hero Complete Edition on Google Stadia. Available right now. Um, this is a fantastic game. If if you like old school platformers, um, it, it kind of Metroidvania-esque where you need powers to get to certain areas. You might go to a level and you can't jump up high enough to get to the other section. You need some other uh, transformation or something to get up there. Um, these games are, they were a staple back in like the 90s and early 2000s. They kind of disappeared. It's so good to see uh, games like this come back. And uh, WayForward does such a great job with the Shantae games. It is really great to see two of them on Google Stadia for people that are looking for a classic platformer. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest over at nerdnest.tv. You can check out the Stadia cast, our Stadia-focused podcast that we record every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern here on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash nerdnest or nerdnest.tv will bring you right to that channel. You'll be able to watch as we record the podcast live. Um, so yeah, that's going to about do it for this first look. Uh, this is a really, really good game. As you saw when I looked at the menu, there's like 18 game modes. Okay, there isn't quite that many, but I think there's eight, um, which is just a, a crazy amount of content on top of uh, really amazing single, single uh, or not single, um, uh, story. Story mode, the main campaign mode, campaign mode, that's what I was looking for uh, in the game. So once you beat the campaign mode, then there's so much other stuff that you can go into and play. So uh, really, really enjoy this game. Hopefully you do too. It's now available on Google Stadia. I think it's 30 bucks. So if you're looking for a fun platformer, uh, this might be one for you to check out. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, Dasme, uh on Twitter, D-A-S-M-E. My name is Lloyd Hannison. We'll talk to you next time here on Nerdnest.